friends, I don't know how well this is going to come out. I don't think it's going to come out at all. It's really dark. It's dark. In fact, it's so dark, my, my camera's not even focusing. All right, so let's focus on the pavement. All right, I've made it happen. All right, I still don't have my... All right, there we go. All right, so this right here, we were told, Trey was told, by two old folks in their 80s that this was what they called the second seawall. Now what they said was that, and you can hear how windy it is, that there was a little bit of beach, which now we can see there's a lot of beach. There was a little bit of beach here and then there was a lot of underbrush, but this is where the kids would come parking back then. So Elvis and June did come here, but they, also, they actually came here with Buddy Conrad to shoot fireworks, and they shot him out into the water out there. Elvis also shot Buddy with He sure did. Somewhere out here. So we don't know where at, at the second seawall, because it stretches, I mean, you can see where the bridge and stuff is, so it stretches from there all the way down there. So it's probably a couple of miles long, I would think. They seem to suggest, the old couple, that it was at the research station or whatever it is right. at the far end, so let's go down there. Because it was a place where lovers would park. That's right. You know what y'all did back in the day. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. I don't know what you did, but y'all know yeah. what you did. And uh, <laughs> this happened out here, guys. It sure did. And boy, I'm about to freeze. <laughs> it is cold. Freeze. Good uh, Lord, it's cold. Happened right here. Somewhere. So you can see there's really high dollar beautiful houses here now and the Beau Rivage, I'm shaking it's so cold, is right there. But boy, it is chilly out here. Good Lord, I'm about to freeze. So this is the area right down here. This is where the older couple told us that was the place that people would come and park. And you can see it's very secluded. There's a little see, thing. See if you can shine your light toward the water okay i'm gonna turn around but you can see where this parking lot is at this is at the very end of the seawall there's part is a pavement right there what does that pavement go to yeah see back in here oh yeah yeah it's looking like a place to go park yeah this is the second seawall And there's a boat ramp. It's a boat ramp. And then the seawall would be, you can see the water out there. You can actually see it right here. You see the seawall? Yeah. This is it? This is where he said, the old dude said that, that it was. Because they, they even smiled. Yeah. When we talked about this, they kind of chuckled. All right, let me get out for a second. Though. Okay. Keep that light shining. All right, go ahead. I've always wanted to find this place. So you can actually see pieces of the seawall still there. And this is Davis Bayou. And the back bay of Biloxi. But the seawall, <clears throat> where we're at is at the end. This is called the second seawall, this whole area. We're at the end. So this right here is where he suggested that they would park. Which is right there. You can see the water is right out there. All right, so buddy, knowing most of the beach was a residential area, suggested a secluded section further away. So further away, mm -hmm. that makes sense, called the second seawall. Where Spock I and I are sitting. Mm -hmm. You should join us wherever you are in this world. Um, the second seawall was known as a lover's paradise. The cool breeze is cool tonight, guys. Go step it's outside. Cold breeze. It's cold breeze. The cool breeze <clears throat> coming off the water made it an ideal parking spot for young couples. I myself had never parked there from before, but I had been there in the daytime to see the place that was so popular with some of my peers. And then I can't read you what this says. But anyway, the famous parking spot was secluded. This is what I want. You'll have to get the book. It was secluded. So yeah. that's... When it's you say secluded. this is very secluded, 
It was mostly seawall with only a small patch of white sand. Mm -hmm. The woods, the woods, had a thick underbrush, right? Mm -hmm. Still does. Had a thick underbrush, so hiding behind a tree was out of the question, right? Look mm -hmm. at the thick, all this thick underbrush. Mm -hmm. Um. Hiding behind a tree was out of question because they were shot off, wanted to shoot off Roman candles. Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> hiding, uh, instead of having our battle, we fired the Roman candles and bottle rockets out over the water. Okay. Elvis occasionally fired a Roman candle in Buddy's direction, giving him a taste of what our war had been like and keeping him on his toes. The boys wanted to go back to Guff Hills and find a more secluded spot, but Elvis refused, saying his reputation was at stake because they had been in trouble for shooting those fireworks mm -hmm. off over at Guff Hills on the golf course. The gang all piled in Buddy's car, leaving Elvis and me to ride alone. I was expecting Elvis to follow Buddy out of the secluded area, but he drove only a few yards before he stopped the car. How many times have you parked here, June? <laughs> and the rest, you have to read June's book. That's right. In the Twilight of Memory. That's it. Because uh, some pretty interesting things. What could have happened here? Spy guy, you want to tell them? I can't tell them. Oh, okay. This is a, a family show. <laughs> Go to my show. But anyway, that, <laughs> I didn't say that. Uh, this is a secluded area. Yeah, very secluded. So I, I would say that we're right. Yeah, this is it. This is the spot. And there's a basketball court out here now. Well, I mean, I don't think that that's a good thing. because See, it says Gulf Coast Research Laboratory right there. This is where the guy said that it was. And they lived here all their life, so. He this would have been out in the middle of nowhere back then. Back then, because this building would not have been here. So there'd just been trees out here. That's right, this would have just been out in the woods. Elvis Presley was here. Another place we can put him, Spock. Guy. That's right. I didn't hear your tagline. Elvis Presley was here. Twice upon a time? Twice upon a time. 60-something years ago. It's hard to believe. Yeah. I mean, I don't even know what I was doing 60 years ago. You were not even thought of. <laughs> right here, this is the corner of Halstead and East Beach. That's where it happened at. Now you know if you come to uh, Biloxi, drive on out here. Halstead. It's right off East Beach in Halstead. The beach right out there. Beautiful houses out here. Look at the boat. Say, so, you know, Buddy Conrad died here in Biloxi when he's 32 yeah. years old, really. Yeah. Buddy dies at 30. They said that back then, there's a hysterical marker right here. Let's look at that. They said that back then, the couple said that there was only one house out here. It may be this and one. it is this house. It says that... 1890. A Chicago architect. Remember they said Chicago? Yep. Louis Sullivan, known as the father of the skyscraper. And his young... Draftsman Frank Lloyd Wright. Mm -hmm. This was the vacation home of James and later Frederick Norwood, both Chicago lumber magnates. So the couple he's talking about, this was the small craft marina, which was on this end. And then the other end was been where they parked. This is the beginning of the second seawall right here. Remember him talking about that? Yeah. It mean you actually went here and went down and looked at those boats to see if any of them were out, Jenny. Hot Johnny. If you want to support this effort, make sure that you subscribe, like, and then join. That helps us to get more videos out there. Yes, it does.